Okay, so here's another performance video of Timepiece by the composer Lenny Niehaus. So just like my other video with fan flares, it has two contrasting sections. We have a, a sort of a tongued, um, non-expressive part, which is kind of playing the melody. And then in the middle of the song, we have an expressive part, which is softer volume. We're slurring, uh, making sure everything is played at full value. We have some crescendos and decrescendos that we want to observe in the expressive part. Um, Hardest part about this song, I think, is playing F sharps. So remember, F sharp is fingered like E, but we're lifting our thumb. There's also a low A and a low G. So you want to make sure that you are um, playing those and they're coming out clearly. Okay? Um, the measure that I'm talking about with the F sharp that might be a challenge for some of you is on line three, and it's D, G, F sharp, E, F sharp, D. So I'll do it slowly for you. This would be like line three, two measures before 13. Let's try it again. A little tricky, right? Let's try it one more time. And that occurs a bunch of times in the piece. So uh, here we go with timepiece. I uh, hope you enjoy this performance. Okay, so a couple quick things about this song. Um, somewhere in the 31 section, you're going to find it in your music, we have that F sharp thing that we practiced in the beginning of the video. So let's go over the 31 section real slow, because that's going to be a little left hand trick thing here um, on that. So let's try the 31. Ready, slowly, go, now. Okay, let's try this a hair faster. One, two, ready, go. Okay, so you can, that's the part you definitely need to work out. Now check out the last two measures we have. Uh, a retardando. So let's practice that. 
So you're going to go G, no finger G, to the low G, the octave lower. <coughs> and then you have B, D, and then a fermata G. So you want to hold that fermata out longer than four uh, beats. So here we go with the ritardando. Um, last two measures. Two, three, and... Okay, let's practice it one more time. Okay, so also in this song, observe our uh, repeats. There is a repeat from measure 5 to 13. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the performance of the timepiece and the two parts that I think you should work on in this. Uh, as always, we want to make sure that we are seeking out private instruction. Uh, it's always better to work with a, a person next to you than just doing YouTube videos. Um, use the video to kind of get a sense of what the song sounds like, practice it, and then seek out a private teacher. Also remember, we're buying original copies. We're not photocopying and playing off photocopies. We're always making sure that we're paying for the music that we play. Um, so hope you enjoyed the timepiece by Lenny Niehaus. And uh, keep practicing, and we'll see you soon.